My name is Horev and I'm a sales engineer at UI. In this video, let's have a look together how SAP can be automated using AI computer vision. There are a couple of challenges when it comes to developing automations. Some applications run in virtualized environments where we cannot install our plugins or extensions. Some applications are higher dynamic with changing and shifting of UI elements. There are also environments or systems developed in uh, legacy technologies or some uh, custom developments, which we cannot address with our standard solution. For all of this, we have AI computer vision. Using computer vision, robots can see and understand the screen without requiring access to their technical selectors. Let's have a look at how this works. First, let's try to automate SAP Wingui, which is running in a remote desktop connection using the standard automation capabilities provided by UiPath. Let's add one click activity and try to indicate a new UI element. Quickly, we can notice this is not possible. We don't have access to any technical solution. Everything, the whole application is just identified with a single selector. We are being asked to install the UiPath extension. If this is not possible, we are not able to uh, automate the individual UI elements on the screen. Let's see how this works with computer vision. In Visual Studio, I will start by adding a computer vision screen scope and indicating on the application I want to automate. Computer vision is now detecting all the elements that can be automated. And I will start by adding the first action, which is a type into the activity. In this case, I am also required to provide an anchor. I will use VA02 and will also add an enter. And I can run everything I have developed so far to get to the next screen. Project has been compiled and robot starts the execution now. All right, now I can continue with the next activity, which is again a type into activity. I will again indicate the field, but before that I need to refresh in order to uh, allow computer vision to analyze the new UI elements. I will enter a new order number and very important at this step, I will make sure that empty field is set to true in order to overwrite the existing value. After that, I will also add a click on the continue button. Let's proceed to the next screen manually. And here as a last action, I want to read the value from the uh, item description from the table. Let's use a computer vision get text activity for this. We need to refresh again because we are automating a new screen and indicate the value we want. For tables, we are also required to provide anchors with regards to row number or column name. We see that everything looks fine now. Let's save the value to a variable and use it in a log message activity. All right, we have finished with the development of our small scenario. Let's go back to our initial screen 
and run everything, see that it works. The robot starts executing the automation. Order number has been overridden. And let's see what we have in the output panel via the log message. By the Y120 bike corresponds to the value from our table. Thank you very much for your time.